Hello, I'm Sinashi. Welcome back to this uh, minimum kill, I think is now the correct term, playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. Going to be doing a... After what happened to Mr. House, nobody knows for sure what's in play for the strip. Going to be doing a quest for the Tops. Hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Yeah, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Uh, what is there to do here? Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Hmm, okay. You know what, maybe I will. Maybe I will check it out. This is just swell. Benny Vamooses and I'm left holding the bag. What do you need, kid? Yeah. At least in the old days, we could up and split with these sexy heads. Hi. So anyway, uh, the weapons are kept in a safe down there, but I think it's a very hard lock. Okay. Let's see if I can sneak past her. Nope, all these lockers are hard and hi, yes. Uh I was just leaving now. What's my what's my sneak again or my lockpick again? My lockpick is absolute dog shit. Okay. Uh, I can't even talk to the bartender, he's so far away. Come on, don't make me walk behind the counter. Get your drink? Yeah, I'm parched. Best booze in Vegas, baby. What'll it be? I don't know, let me see. Uh how about you sell me all those? Not all of them, but there. Okay. Hello. I wonder where Benny ran up to. <laughs> At least in the old days we could up and split with these sexy heads. Right now I miss that the territories are about to blow up. It's not a lot of people here. Things are getting stranger every day. You know anything about that? Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your night? Tell me about this theater. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rat Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Uh, what do you do here? Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. Really? What kind of entertainment do you have? Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes... We got it all. Sounds great. You, you know what? I actually do kind of want to see his show. So hold on. Oh, that would be why. Uh, uh I'm gonna sleep. I, I'm gonna sleep in the house that I have here. Time to go to the, the presidential suite. Uh. Oh God, they're still here. Had enough. Ow, ow. Never mind. I'm not gonna go to the presidential suite.
Hey, fellow what? Are you kidding me? So, huh. Okay, duly noted. Not going up to the uh not not, not going up to the presidential suite. The presidential suite is officially off limits. Hey, hey, fellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. I'll speed through the dialogue to unlock it. Those securitons hanging out obituaries? Jeez. Good thing I had this saved from before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, give me that frag grenade. You're broke now. What what happened? Why? Alright, anyway. Hey, hey, welcome. Okay, okay. Uh maybe I'll just go to Benny's suite. And rest up there. Do I have the key to Benny's? Oh yeah, I have the key to Benny's suite. Because how else would I have talked to, gotten to access to Yes Man? I mean, yeah, I could have just rested in the hallway, but that's... No? So that would be one in the afternoon, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do seven. Gives me plenty of time to make it to the show. Alright. So from 8 to midnight, 4 hours. Man, I thought the... I thought the people would despawn by now. Alright. Let's see what we got going. Let's, uh, I don't want a front row seat. Front row seat's desperate. Okay. Well, they should be going on soon. show everyone what happens when we're pissed off okay yeah sure go ahead be all macho how's it hanging how's it hanging you dig this crazy scene Our or Rangers what? Are going to show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. You dig this crazy scene or what? Baby, you couldn't pay me enough to step off a cliff these days. Leaping cats out there thick as fleas on a dog, and they ain't no bums neither. It seems that the territories are about to blow up. Eight to midnight, right? Yes. I went away to get my phone. 
And we're still here, and I don't see a... Uh, well, what time is it, huh? It's 8.20. Where's the show? Y'all just standing around? Huh? Wonder where Benny got off to. Well, well, well. If it ain't the best love cat on the strip in my theater, what could Tommy do for you, baby? Uh, what other entertainment is there on the strip? Now, why would you want to go breaking Tommy's heart asking a question like that? Here I run the finest entertainment venue in all New Vegas, and you're asking me, what else is there? Nothing close to what we got here at the tops, that's for sure. Yeah, but you're not putting on a show. You said eight to midnight every single night. Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from eight to midnight, we got the Rad Pack review. Songs, dancing, jokes, we got it all. Fine, maybe I could help you find some more acts for your show. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, if you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit, folks. I'll get you your bread. Yeah, sure, I'll keep an eye out. Ring-a-ding, my card. But you're going to go up on stage at some point, right? Old Swank smarter than Benny. You guys are just sitting here getting drunk and This is not are you going no? You're not going up on stage? Okay. Well I was hoping you would go up on stage, but whatever. It's a sad part, man. It's a sad, sad fucking life right there. All right, you. Let's hear some of your shit. Mr. Mob infested hellhole. Did he just say that? My cousin and his wife are a fastidious couple. She's fast and he's hideous. Ha cha cha. A ghoul goes to a doctor and says, "Doctor, doctor, I have this horrible rash." The doctor says, "Son, that's called your face." Ding dong. Okay. Come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. I just have a few questions. All right, but make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. Uh, Tommy Torini at the tops is hiring entertainers. I could put in a good word for you. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred a night. No, fifty. No, twenty. Ten. Just oh. don't rob me. I'll do it. Don't sell yourself short. You're worth a lot more than that. Whoa, jeez, what was I thinking? You're right. I had to go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. Yeah. Everyone should be getting paid their fair share. Uh huh. Now who else do we have? Well, I should talk to Tommy to get my get my bread, as he stated. If my controller would cooperate. Hey, fellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. Oh, <laughs> he's still running to Tommy. Do we finally have a show to put on? So who thought it was a good idea to give the robots missile launchers? Well, well, well. Hey, uh, let's talk about the acts I recruited. That comedian, you mean? Yeah, he was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your three percent. Ninety? What? Oh, my voice cracked horribly there because, seriously, 90 caps? That's, uh eh, that's fine. That's one, that's less than one stim pack, but whatever. What else do we have? Oh, yeah. I wonder how you would get information like this.
What, we're gonna re the, recruit the kid with, uh... Recruit the kid with the rat? They're gonna do, like, a Sigmund and Freud act? Come to Nick and Ralph for all your shopping needs. Okay, no, that's Come the free side. Yeah, 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 whatever. Shopping. Am I going to the Atomic Wrangler? Make every stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the tables more friendly, and the women are just like the booze. Yeah, what do you have to say? Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. I'll go to the Brotherhood of Steel if I need energy weapons. Okay, thanks. Bye. Uh huh. Okay. You, Hadrian. Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Is this another stand up comic? Why? Excuse me? What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. So you perform stand up comedy, huh? Yeesh. Is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Judging from the economic state of Freeside, they can't be paying you that much. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rolling in caps here, but what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Tommy Torini is hiring new acts at the tops. I think you could make some good money. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garrets. They'll never let me out of it. I could talk to Garrett and convince him to let you go. Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. I mean, I'll knock his teeth in. The Legion's bad enough. The last thing we need around here is even tougher and see our Ranger Doug coming along. Doesn't look good. There's a buildup of forces between the NCR and Legion. Not good at all for business in the long run. Legion wins. I'd like to get... Oh, yeah. I spoke with Julie Farkas. She says the followers will accept your offer. Hey, that's great. I forgot to complete the quest! Over today is a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here. But honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. I'd like to get Hadrian out of his contract. Now why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. He's not the right fit for this place. You'll find better performers. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. All right. Let's see what Hadrian looks like in the light. Okay. Any luck with Garrett yet? Garrett's agreed to let you out of your contract. You can go work at the tops. Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great. Thank you. Yeah, just make sure to be very careful with that robot at the entrance. That robot will absolutely fuck you up. Do I really have to... You know what? No, I'm not going to go to Tommy Torini for each little individual act. Okay, get to the 188 and head south. I'm going to probably equip my golden gloves just in case anybody gets any funny ideas what the hell what's with all these random cows see there's another one. Oh wait no that one's no wait no that one's not with its trader okay there's way too many random ass cows running about this place
Hey, pal. Wake up. It seems that the territories are about to blow up. Howdy there, partner. What's your story, stranger? My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Uh, never mind then. Any Tommy Torini at the Tops is looking for musical acts, if you're interested. Son, where I come from, a man doesn't just walk up to another man and offer him a job without even knowing it. What's your game? Tommy offered me a recruiting fee. Well, at least you're honest, I guess. Sorry, I just don't take charity from strangers. But that's a mighty fine guitar you got there. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Have you been playing long? Just about my whole life. Ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes. Like I said, I got no... Okay. I'm interested in your story. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. Your father abandoned you? That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Sounds like you miss him. Is that why you're out here wandering? Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. You were better off without him. You became your own man outside of his shadow. I suppose there's that. But a man ought to know his own paw. And a woman oughtn't to have to work herself to an early grave to provide for her family. After Ma dies, I guess I wanted to find my paw and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since. And he ain't an easy man to find. What will you do when you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Well, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Sounds like you should move on. Settle down, maybe. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fella with a guitar might find a job, huh? Tommy Torini at the Tops is looking for musical acts, if you're interested. Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. Alright, show me what you got. Here, take this card. Tell him I sent you. Much obliged to you, friend. I'm gonna skip some time to give him time to, you know, reach Vegas. Is he? Yep, okay. Eh, give him more time. I don't like random ambience noises sometimes. There's. Like, I just heard a bottle breaking in the background, and I'm just getting ready to put up my dukes. Oh, yeah. Come on. I don't like the look of this place. Just a random teddy. I can sleep on the bed though. No, I don't think Van Manny Vargas is the one we're looking for. Mm, this is another. Yeah, I'll be taking some of these drugs. Keep them out of the hands of some terrible junkie. Sunset Sarsaparilla is also... 
terribly addic addictive. Damn, man, this place is a fucking drug house. Need to get everything out of here. So if you're that into drugs, should you, if you have an oxygen tank, should you really be that into drugs? I would say no, but all right. Our rangers are going to show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. Yeah. Oh, uh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have. Wait, you, you don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? No. What makes you think that? Sorry, it's just. You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Aren't you the singer from New Reno? I thought I saw you play the clubs there. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. Why'd you come all the way out here from New Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. But why is he looking for you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. You robbed a casino, boss? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter a little. You really don't know when to quit, do you? I guess I don't. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Good luck with that. Thanks. You know, if you're looking for work as a singer, Tommy Turbini at the Tops is hiring. Really? The Tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. What's with the veins on your hand? Our rangers are going to show everyone... Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. What happens when Everyone's boasting about the rangers. Ooh, the rangers this, the rangers that. You know, if the rangers are so good, then Kaisar wouldn't have been able to attack the uh, Hoover Dam in the first place. And he certainly would not just be popping a squat at Hoover Dam. Like, right across the street. Right across the street. Right across the river from the Colorado. Hey, fellow. Yeah, okay. I hope Swank's smarter than Benny. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the fun. Let's talk about the axe I recruited. The cowboy axe, yeah. He dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. Three percent of the cut comes to a hundred caps. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. Let's talk about the axe I recruited. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your three percent, baby. You enjoy that. Let's talk about the axe. Ugly mug with the razor tongue. Dig it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act. Just like Tommy promised. Here's your three percent. Okay. You again. You should meet my bookie. You have something in common. Every time I talk to you, I lose caps. I didn't mean to interrupt. Gee, some people. Damn. Okay, dude. What time is it? 
Oh, it's five o'clock. Okay. Well, supposedly live entertainment every night. Wait a couple hours. Oh! Did I just miss an act? Hold on. That's not cool. Despite our strength, the Legion army looks fierce enough to make me waver. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh see what we got here. I thought they told jokes too. Come on. I mean, they got good manual dexterity. Uh, is the act over? Well, it's 8 o'clock. Someone else gonna come on stage? Synchronized smoking? Okay, that's a new act. Do I have to get up front? How's it hanging? How's it hanging? Evening. How's it you hanging? Know all stirred up lately? Yeah, hold on. Bring up your uh bring on your next act. Things are getting stranger every day. You dig this crazy scene or what? When's your next act? Okay, fine. Don't want to show me the next act. Our rangers are going to show every Well, well, well. Now, what songs? It seems that the territory. Fine, I guess I'll go do a different quest. What different quest, though? Yeah, you know what? I I got an idea. You know what? Maybe. Maybe I'll help out the Garrets. Oh, I should probably inform... Nope, that's not the right place. Nope, that's also not the right place. Tell Julie Farkas about the Garrets, and then that'll officially complete the quest high times. Alright. Is he still not woken up? Hope what I remembered helps. Tell the king to thank him for looking out for us. Guess I'll just wait out here for her. Ugh. Yes, where there she is. I've heard a few patients mention the Securitrons are acting strangely, and no one has heard from Mr. House in a while. If House is out of the picture, maybe we'll be able to get our hands on some of his technology. It would help our scientists greatly. The Garrett should be sending over medical supplies shortly. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised they would help us out, but I can see the Garrets aren't doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. Well, it looks like you've earned yourself a discount on supplies now that we'll be fully covered. This supply deal will aid our work immensely. There we go. Oh, free site accepted is pretty good. Uh, am I already... Oh, I'm, I'm idolized with the followers, okay. 
damn straight I should be. I have this fucking kick-ass coat. With a little light on it so I can, you know, keep my hands free when I'm performing medical procedures. Anyway, it's officially time to not get mugged, please. I'll give him ye old right hook, I tell you what. I should get my unarmed to 100 so I can get access to the other moves. But yeah, maybe I'll do some work for the Garrets to kind of help Freeside out a little bit more. What, you, you want a taste of this, huh? Come on. Good job, guys. Someone dead, really dead. Stop by the silver rush and we'll give you the news. And right in front of this door. Alright. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.